Hi, my name is Winbox and today we are taking a look at some of your comments. Uh, but before that, uh, I want to tell you a little bit uh, about something. So, uh, being a marketing guy among uh, engineers, uh, I sometimes feel like I'm just not smart enough. So, um, I have the perfect solution. Oh, so much smarter now. I think I can even uh, multiply two digit numbers in my mind. Nah, that didn't help much. But uh, let's go. So, Vajiko Zalishvili, and sorry if I don't pronounce it correctly, asks, can you make video about user manager? Will do. Stay tuned with the micro tips series. Jan Shukor asks, what happened to the checkered shirt? Oh, finally somebody noticed. So, um, we did some AI powered thumbnails. That's definitely not Normans. I don't know who that is, but that is not Normans. Siegelpoor89 asks, please don't use oversensitive microphones. It picks up, inhales, sounds flips and sticking. Nightmare. Disgusting. So, you are not into ASMR? Drum Addict 89 Did not understand much, but love the visuals here. And the blurred super secret upcoming CCR. Cheers to Riga. Cheers to you. So, uh, we've got some other comments like this. So, that video in Latvian, it might be confusing for some of you, but uh, we are just looking for new team members here in Riga, Latvia. So, we are sorry that you have to see some uh, um, content that you, that you can't understand, but uh, we also have some videos in Spanish, Ukrainian, and uh, I guess um, over time there will be more languages. So, sorry, not sorry. Then there are some comments asking if I'm cutting myself. Uh, well, not a very sensitive thing to ask, but uh, it's actually a tattoo artwork by my friend, uh, dear Raimunds Windulis. So, I can't explain the piece, it's just something that I saw and it, uh, it awoken some emotions, some deep emotions within me, so I just had to get it. And like all good tattoos, uh, can't explain it, had to have it. Daniel Faust writes, These videos are a whole other level of customer support, which you barely get from other companies. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It's really exciting to see that you guys are happy to see more videos, because we are amateurs. We don't have any like digital agencies working with us, and uh, everything is done in-house. It's really starting to become my favorite EU-based brand. Thank you so much. These videos, they are, they are fun to make, but we really don't know what we are doing. So this feedback helps and also the critical feedback helps. So with your guidance, with your feedback, we will try our best to make the best videos ever. Olis Solis, maybe from Finland, writes, this one, this is one of the reasons I love Microtik. It is a Swiss army knife for troubleshooting infrastructure with unknown devices. For example, traffic sniffing of a PoE IP phone with map without knowing port mirroring on switch. Plug it in in between and connect wireless with your notebook and Wireshark in real time. Perfect. That's right, and here in the, in the Microtech headquarters, we actually sometimes say that it's not a Swiss Army knife, it's the whole Swiss Army. Because the tools and the ways you use these tools, it sometimes surprises even us. So, yeah, Router OS doesn't limit you, and that's the beauty of it. You can do all kinds of uh, unimaginable things. So, keep on sharing your use cases, and in fact, if you send us uh, an interesting setup and uh, we feature it in the newsletter, in social media, you will get a discount in the Microtech merch shop. In the top 5 reasons to choose Microtech, someone writes, community must be number one on the list. I agree. You guys, the best. How long does it take to learn Latvian? Well, easy to learn, hard to master. Somewhere in between 6 months and 100 years. 
Jester says, I love that Microtech finally started releasing educational videos on YouTube. It's so much knowledge that had to be scraped from the internet before. Thank you. Jim asks, every network engineer knows this basic. Where is that two hours video? I have the time for that. Well, the trainers might be a bit unhappy if we started releasing two hour videos and also consider this making a two hour video would take four to five hours in filming because we're not that good uh, like the response to this comment this is like take 55 or something uh, but we will make like more advanced tutorials as well problem bear says i see no sense using zero tier I can do the same with any VPN and without having a man in the middle, which hole punches any firewall. I get the concern. It makes sense from the standpoint of uh, like classic network security. However, uh, you're ignoring the fact that the communication in zero tier is end-to-end -end encrypted. Uh, that's one thing. Another reason to choose zero tier, uh, it's really simple. Anyone can do it but uh, not anyone can set up uh, custom VPNs. And uh, another thing, how would you set the whole thing up if both networks have dynamic IPs? Zero tier is the perfect simple solution for that. JJ says, I like my Monday mornings with a strong Normunds and coffee. You and me, baby, you and me. And uh, fun fact, uh, I only started drinking coffee this year never drank it before and uh, Normans is one of the reasons to blame a e s t d y f y f y d y y three six three seven four seven four four six e t r y u o i y two four six four seven eight f g h c v b says please add a src address field this gives us option to test the connection via s to s tunnels we'll do it Kaldek Boch says, Hi Victor, thank you for creating products based on our needs. Oh, you're welcome. It's not me that's creating the product, so that's why I'm being uh, a bit funny, right? So, when is my Wi-Fi 6 cap AX arriving? Uh, we are testing it. Nurjan says, I think zero tier should be positioned as WAN network and you should be using a secure tunnel over this connection. Like I said, end-to-end -end encrypted. Dozed says, I just adore how everything about Microtech is so honest, straightforward and raw. Well, the same goes for me. And it's not just about the way we communicate and the products, it's the culture here as well. Like, um, this is my first uh, job where I'm not drowned in the pointless, endless meetings that could have been emails. Everyone here is so result focused um that yeah it's, it's it's a real blessing j5 asks is production of the merch carbon neutral thank you for bringing this up very important topic and uh, i believe and uh, my colleagues also believe that uh, we have a shared responsibility towards the planet so we use printful for all the production of merch and here's what here's what they say on the website printful has partnered with native to give customers the option to offset all CO2 emissions. Uh, that's one part of the answer, and that's great. That's really important. Then there's another part, and you might think there's a contradiction, like uh, I'm saying buy the merch, and now I'm saying don't buy it. So here's what I think. Carbon offsetting, while important, it will not solve the climate change alone. You really must consider what are you buying, and for what reason? If you're buying stuff just to have stuff and you don't actually need the stuff and you won't be using the stuff, just don't buy it. That's the best thing you can do for the planet. Don't buy things that you don't need. So with that considered, if you will be uh, using the mugs, if you will be really wearing the hoodies, Go ahead and buy them and use the CO2 emission uh, offset option when you do that. But um, really, just take a moment and reflect uh, on your uh, buying 
traditions and uh, yeah, thank you. So <clears throat> another topic I wanted to bring up, um, there's a small group of comments that happens every time we are, di we are uh, discussing and mentioning some kind of influencers, bloggers, uh, internet personas. And uh, some of you guys are angry that we um, talk about these guys, like uh, maybe their knowledge isn't all that specific, or uh, maybe they make too, uh, I don't know, trivial or simple videos. And that is okay, that is a, a fine uh, point of view. However, uh, I just saw a comment on Reddit that really um, striked me. So this guy, Johnny Mendoza says, shout out to Linus Tech Tips. That's how I got into MyCritic. And that is the most important thing in my opinion. Any way that someone sparks this curiosity, any bridge that we can build between people, uh, between different backgrounds and experiences and knowledge types, that is the way to go. And it doesn't matter if someone uh, might be wrong at some point or they are making the type of content that you don't like as long as the content promotes uh, curiosity education sharing ideas that's cool and uh, yeah maybe linus uh, tech tips uh, is not like uh, a certified microtech engineer but look he sparks curiosity of johnny mendoza and now he's another uh, member of the amazing MicroD community. So, cheers to that. Another cool post from Reddit. Um, pretty new to MicroD, but I'm more than happy. Nearly a month and still solid as a freaking rock. And uh, just look at this cable management. This guy cables. I really like the, the, the small labels. And um, yeah, I think uh, all of us should get like a label machine. That's super cool. Uh, extra special shout out to Microtech Vietnam, also known as MVN, because they are making uh, their own audio dubs of all the videos on our channel. And uh, I know that some geniuses actually use this kind of content to learn languages like the Rosetta Stone method. <laughs> cool stuff. Thank you. Of course, we've been busy on YouTube. Go check out uh, all the new stuff. We have videos on graphing, the torch tool, queues, zero tier, containers, and um, all kinds of stuff uh, like um, bl more uh, Bluetooth uh, mm, features. And um, every week we try to release uh, new micro tips. So keep on suggesting uh, topics in the comments. We try to do them um, usually as soon as possible, but you know that uh, many colleagues are busy on actually making the stuff. So sometimes even after your suggestions, you might have to wait like maybe even a month or two, but um, please know that we are reading all the comments. We appreciate them and we really want to make uh, the content that you guys want to see. So thank you again for working with us, for staying loyal to the, uh, to the amazing Microsoft community. And uh, yeah, let's keep on rocking together.